I'm Gandhar Sutta. We are going to talk about GUI. Uh, so, what is GUI? GUI helps you interact with uh, GUI applications, which help you interact with the backend hardware. Uh, to create these GUIs, we uh, use multiple languages such as C, Python, uh, Java, etc. Uh, so we have chose Python as our language. Uh, to write your Python scripts, we are using ideally which is the integrated development and learning environment which lets you write your Python scripts easily. Uh, to run the GUIs, through, to write GUIs, we are using tkinter, which, which is the toolkit for writing these GUIs. Uh, some of the packages uh, are pillow and URL. So to work with images, you can use pillow and to fetch the URL of uh, URL of any uh, website, you can use URL lib uh, through, through your Python ideally. Um, so it uh, works on all the operating systems such as Windows, Pi, uh, Mac and Linux. Uh, so now we will see a basic code on how to build a GUI. Hi guys, we are going to... So guys, we are going to create uh, GUI on Python. Uh, I'm using PyCharm. You guys can use your Python ideally on your desktops. So I will go to PyCharm. Uh, I've already created a GUI code, so I will explain it. Uh, I'm use uh, first of all we are importing tkinter as tk. Uh, tkinter is our toolkit. Then we are creating a window. So over here, uh, I have given the variable window as the which is the highest component uh, to call these uh, tkinter uh, to call our toolkit as uh, tk dot tk. Uh, then we are creating a button. Uh, so we are calling uh, the variable as btn. So in that uh, button uh, function, we have given um some in in the button we have given uh, we have called our window then we are labeling that button as led and we have given it a command ld so it could function uh, to to create a functionality like on or off uh, then we are placing uh, the button on our window uh, at certain coordinates as I have given x equal to 70 and y equal to 100. Then we are ending this uh, window by calling the main loop function. Uh, and now we are going to see the function uh, ld. So as I have told you that we are uh, called the ld as our function. So I have defined uh, a function called ld, which uh, says global under is underscore on. So is underscore on is a global variable. So a global variable is a variable which uh, functions in any part of a, of your program. It could function uh, in your uh, in your function uh, in your function or uh, it can work out of your function as well uh, then later i have given a if else statement so if is underscore on print on else print off uh, before uh, the if else i have also given is underscore on equal to not is underscore on so we could call the function uh, accordingly um, also in the windows uh, in the window i have given is underscore on equal to false so i could say that uh, is underscore on is uh, on then it will show on and then once it's been called again it will be off so i will run the function so clicking on the button it shows in the terminal on later it will uh, again clicking on it it will show off so that's it from my side thank you guys thank you so much
Going to the backend part, as we have done coding in C programming and Python, so now it's a backend part. So we have to do backend part in Python programming because the front end is also designed in the Python. So it is easy to communicate with front end. Now we will see backend video, backend code of user interface, in the detailed video. Hello. In this video, we are going to see about the backend part for controlling our inbuilt LED of ESP32. So first of all, going to the code, we have to import this type, this packages network for connect network for connect connecting network between Wi-Fi and ESP32 port. Import machine for mentioning the pin numbers from ESP32. Use socket as socket for gener generating a re relationship between so client and socket. Import time for adding delay. So just add your SSID, password, and LED pin. Your SSID and password should be mentioned because we have to connect your ESP32 to your Wi-Fi and LED pin. Here I have connected pin number two in such way that pin number two is LED pin for inbuilt LED. So going to this part, so going to this part, connecting to the Wi-Fi. Basically, this whole whole code. It basically generates relationship between Wi-Fi and ESP32 board and it will give an IP address that has to be put in the front-end code. This code gener generalized says that about client and server relation. So using socket.socket .socket, it will just find the IP address that has been put in the front-end part and it will just connect your client and server. Basically here Server is our ESP32 board. So it will just print server is listening when the server when the client is not connected to the server. In the define handle request in this part, when we press the LED on in the front end UI, the LED will be on. After that, LED you press LED off in the front end point when the LED will be off. The whole this is the main loop where the Client and server correction will be going on. So the response, the response will be get in the HTTP form that HTTP IP address that has to be put in the in the front end part. So going to the front end part, just now I have just put in here the IP address that has to be mentioned in the mention that has been given by our ESP32 port. So I will just now connect. So it will open. So you so 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 you can see that LED is off. So I I will press on that. You can see that LED is on. Similarly, I press LED off. LED on. So simply that send relation generation company between ESP32 built-in LED with an UI that has been connected with external Wi-Fi. Thank you.